A self-taught plumber and a project manager of TVIT Innovators and Job Creators Program, Festus Malakia, emphasized the need to focus more on technical and vocational education and training. Joblessness is to be reduced. Malakia noted that his passion for employment creation and youth empowerment resulted in the establishment of a TVIT Innovation and Job Creators. I was, and then we just decided what can we do really just to make sure that other young people also have something, doing something for themselves, whether you are working to be employed or not. The employment will find you doing something. And that's how we came up with a, with a platform. Uh, in this platform, we started going to different communities, just uh, teaching the young people about entrepreneurship, very basic stuff where to start, what opportunity to look at, and things like that. And that platform, 2018, we were doing just using our own resources. No one supported us or anything. The initiative that started in 2018 has reached both urban and rural communities across the country. A representative from the U.S. Embassy stated that her government remains committed to support and empowering Namibians through such initiatives. As Festus said, we're really happy to help support him, Akatingo, and the rest of the team on this grant. Uh, when we think about what we do here at the U.S. Embassy, we have mutual goals with Namibia. And one of those mutual goals is to make sure that we're supporting the economy. And so when we look and we talk about the youth writ large, we know there's a high unemployment rate. We know it's over 50%. So we really want to make sure to create opportunities for the youth in Namibia to be able to create employment for themselves. Um, we do that a number of ways. We do that by investing in the youth, young leaders like Festus, Akathinga, and others. Over the next five years, the project aims to introduce a new curriculum for TVIT programs to further boost the employment. Currently, the initiative is run both online and in-person sessions with 25 participants from the Comas regions. The foundation is calling on stakeholders to join the bandwagon to assist young people in securing and creating jobs.